Hey crowdsourcing participants, this is Chuck Burr. I'm an extension educator focusing on water and integrated cropping systems and a helper with the TAPS program. You can see behind me we've got soybean residue. This is where we're going to be planting our TAPS uh, crowdsourcing plot into. Uh, it's been pretty cold and uh, windy here the last couple of weeks. We're probably two to three weeks away from planting, but it's time to start thinking about pre-plant nitrogen and uh, we need to make that decision shortly. So the field we're planting into is a COZAD silt loam. Uh, also has a little bit of hoard silt loam in it, zero to 1% slope. Uh, we are planting into irrigated soybean residues. Soybeans last year would have been in that uh, 70 to maybe 75 bushel range. We look at our field, it has an APH of 240 bushels per acre. And you can see the yields that were in our TAPS competition. That would be the high yields the past five years range from uh, 241 in 2019 up to 295 in 2020. Also listed uh, the amount of nitrogen applied by the participants that would have received those greatest yields. Uh, last couple of lines there is the most efficient yield. Uh, so that was both in terms of water and nitrogen application. You can see the yields range there uh, from 240 or 226.6 up to about 278.9 and the uh, nitrogen applied with that. Uh, the greatest yield and most efficient yield has been very close. The first three years of the competition, the last two years, we've been really water short. So we put a lot of irrigation water on. Uh, some of the participants that were going for that efficient yield uh, probably dinged it a little too much on water and uh, dinged their yield because of that. So probably not a, an issue with the nitrogen applied, more of an issue with the water applied. You see here the soils analysis from Ward Labs. We did take uh, surface samples, zero to eight inches and deep samples, eight to 36 inches. And uh, we'll zoom in on the, the nitrogen side of things. Organic matter range from 1.9 to 2.3%. Uh, in the top uh, layer, we had 17, 13, and 18. So about what, 16 or 17 pounds of nitrogen. And then the bottom, bottom layer range from 23 to 25. So 23 or 24 pounds of nitrogen residual in the eight to 36 inch sample. We do plan some field applications. We're gonna stream on some fertilizer before planting. that include uh, 28 pounds of nitrogen, 49 pounds of phosphorus, 29 pounds of sulfur, and an eighth of a 10th of a pound of zinc. And we will put on five gallons of starter, that 10 340, which should give us about another 5.8 pounds of nitrogen. One resource to consider would be our UNL nitrogen calculator. You can see the website to download it put in your soils information, your yield goal, and also price of fertilizer and price of the grain, you know, we'll give you a recommended nitrogen amounts. Well, there you have it, all the information you need to make the decision. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is chuck.burr, that's B-U-R-R, chuck.burr at unl.edu. Uh, if you have questions, let me know and uh, be ready to make your pre-plant nitrogen decision. Thanks for joining.